Connecting with other scientists and finding people who didn't know before that they were interested about bugs. Connecting with students that are not locally close to me, but that are super fun to talk to, like... I like it because I get to see how other things and how other departments work, and I get to see bugs from around the world when people tweet their photos. Uh, broadly, you can network, you can share photos um, about your study organisms, and you can also share cat photos, which is something that I do pretty often. <laughs> um, I really enjoy sharing photos of insects and spiders and getting people to recognize that actually they're okay and they're friendly and kind of cute. I like to use it to keep the conference atmosphere flowing all the way through the year. So we all come together for you know a week at a time, we have a hell of a good time, but then we go away. This way we can all keep going and sharing our fun and our science. What he said. One time I found a paper about a centipede that had eaten its way out of a snake from uh, southeastern Europe. And so I tweeted that out and then it spread all around and got a lot of coverage and it was pretty sweet. Um, wow, hard to pick a favorite story. I think the thing that I find really rewarding is when I get tweets from people that were like, I used to be really afraid of spiders, but now they're kind of okay. They're really actually kind of cute. And so you can really see over time people's attitudes change. Uh, my best case scenario is somebody tweeted a photo of a fly, I took a look at it, I realized it was something that shouldn't be where it was, um, and so we ended up having a paper, it's in review right now. <laughs> One time we started an event called Myriapod Monday, uh, spread out with the hashtag, and we got people from all over the world tweeting pictures of millipedes, centipedes, and all the beauty that they contain within those groups. Um, I actually found several stories through people that I know on Twitter. My second career hat thing, um, I write for Wired Magazine, and so I was able to find some really fun stories about interactions between uh, wasps and raptors um, through Sean McCann's work. Uh, a couple of other things that I picked up on, and it also helps me, I can pull experts in. So I did a, um, a story about a millipede that ended up with 16 extra pairs of gonads, and Derek was super helpful on that, but with the millipede part. <laughs> Uh, so, my most successful tweet to date is, ironically, it's a phylogeny of emoji, uh, arthropod emoji, including the little shrimp, and so that's been uh, my claim to fame online in many cases, is uh, the phylemoji.